Good morning. Today I am in Berlin, Ohio. Believe it or not, I've actually been here before, but it's been about four or five years. Um, I'm pretty excited to be back. I'm also pretty excited because on my way here, I passed a random field of zebras. <laughs> that woke me up. So I'm ready to start it off. Let's go antique it. First thing that catches my eye is that Italian pear. Oh my gosh, that's only $20. That is a deal. Very into the cactus lamps. Some nice uh, swung glass here. Look at this one, that's pretty. 35 on that. So far the prices are more reasonable than I remember. Holy cow. Look at this Christmas girl planter. She's huge. And I love the little Josef Originals rooster. Ooh, look at this girl back here. The little name card holder. She's adorable. She's at 35. Dude, wait, what is happening here? <laughs> As is 150. Why is her <laughs> Why is her face like that? I love that. And then here you have the pincushion lady. She's only 19. That's a great deal. There's another one up there. Just curious. If you don't look, you don't know. 19 again. Another good deal. I'm going to be very um, specific. Oh, my heart just sank. I thought that said 25. They know. This is insanely rare. Wow, it's two hundred and fifty dollars, and to be honest, they're not wrong. That's that's probably the most amazing thing I'm gonna see all day. Maybe not, but it's up there. I try not to look things up when I'm out, just because it kind of sucks some of the excitement out of it. Uh, but that one I was curious because it's been so long since I've even seen one listed online or noticed it. I've never actually seen one in person. Um, so it looks like it's gone down a little bit since Kitsch was in its height. And, uh, there's ones listed online for like 180. Look at this. That's pretty. I think that's going to be like that fake out custard that doesn't glow. I'm more interested in, um, yeah, I'm more interested in this. Look at this. Plum artichoke vase. How cool. I know a lot of people aren't into clowns, but, uh, look at those. Clowns, those are amazing, and I have to send a picture of this to a friend. My friend Susie would love this case. And look what we have here. Murano bookends, 99 for the pair. Those are amazing. Those strawberries, neat. Spiky strawberry. <laughs> and that's a really pretty one. I think that's uh, not what I want it to be, but... They're yeah, really pretty. I never got into this kind of... Well, some of the heavier Murano stuff I like, but I like the more dainty stuff I will say, though, these are beautiful. Whatever is happening here is way more my speed. Oh my gosh. Oh. I love that. I was actually just listening to a podcast about brides, bowls, and baskets on the way here. Uh, that is a particularly... <coughs> regal one man i love that here are like two of the best wind-up toys i've ever seen the monkey look at his face and then he's got the banana and then the giraffe the giraffe has such wear and character he's spectacular another noteworthy clown there i usually don't like spun glass but look at that guy he's fantastic and then here you have the acrylic and this uh, i'm assuming it might be italian italian the opalescent cranberry bowl so far berlin has the best clowns super into this case of course you got the alley cat but look at the little sheep i love those oh my gosh another epic clown look at that what is going on here why are there like such an abundance of insane italian clowns <laughs> i love it that face is gorgeous too but i'm more into the character of all the clowns a little nurse's uniform. Here we go. He's fun. Unfortunately, he's got a chipped ear. An abundance of shoes. Hmm. Here's 
here's something you don't see every day. Check it out. It's the anthropomorphic um, pan, pot and pan salt and pepper shaker with their original stand. Usually uh, with their arms break off and they miss this, they're missing the stand. That's really neat to see all together. $50 on it though, by the way. A collection of uh, pretty great cats. I like the tiger cat salt and pepper shakers and uh, these ones, they're all kind of close to where they need to be. The boxing cats, those are fun. And I've never seen this exact version. It might be a Taiwan, I'm kind of curious, but it's locked, so I'm not gonna bother getting a key unless I'm buying it, which I'm not. Oh man, but those ones, they're $19, but they're everything. Unfortunately, it's got a chip. For resale, I can't do 19 with the chip. Honestly though, if they, the condition was just a little bit better, I would totally get those. Those are spectacular. Collection of pretty great Artisania Rinconata. The skunk is by far my favorite. Why is the skunk $8? I'm not really sure. That doesn't make much sense. That one's 27. Oh, okay, so it's just that because it's a pair. Yeah, $8 on the skunk. I'm gonna take that. I'm kind of interested in the kangaroo too while I'm at $8. I mean, kangaroo, artisan, your ring canada, eight bucks, I'll take that as well. Here's a fat and custard uranium vase that I am dead obsessed with. It's $90. Honestly, if it was coming home with me for me, that would be a no-brainer. It's a little close for resale, but man, that is a nice one. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is it, Rocky? He's fantastic. Those penguins are particularly special. $27.50 each. They look like they might be German. That is a particularly beautiful diamond optic vase at $59. I love the handles on the side of that. It's got attitude. That's a particularly uh, beautiful blue pulled feather. And then down here, I love the giant German bisque doll. Uh, I just made it upstairs. There's a lot going on up here. Oh man, I love the uh, coin dot jar. That is so fun. Well, I found something else I really like. It's this Royal Deuce um, Fox figurine. It's only $9. Unfortunately, everything seems to be in a locked case, and I've had kind of a bad... Not had much luck <laughs> finding uh, people with keys, but I got here just as they opened. Holy cow. Is this what I think it is? This looks like Aziz Azar. Abjan glass. I can know, I know I'm not pronouncing it right, but that is an insane deal. Eight dollars and twelve. That's a definite yes. Yeah, that looks like the Russian glass artist I like. I really like this sickly looking cupy. And that looks like a Heidi Shoop. It is. She's fabulous. This is a super cute booth. I love the uh, feed Fido chalkware bank. Oh my gosh, what's this in the window? $25? Kreider? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe that was just sitting there. Almost got blinded by the light. I'll take that. Another clown. <laughs> oh my gosh. How fun. 54 on him though. If I were to buy a clown, it would have to be very inexpensive because it's kind of a gamble. Some people feel... Really? Anti-clown. I'm not an anti-clowner, but I've uh, tried my hand at it too many times and uh, definitely gotten burnt on them before. Holy fun. And this just keeps going. This is insane. All right, well, first of all, I love this perfume bottle. Um, hmm. These are definitely different. They're like Epern horns. What's that? Oh, it's a it's a pitcher. Never mind. I thought it was a vase. I was wondering if it was custard glass. Now here I see something really different. These little I think they're Czech. Yup. Really cool with the hand painting. Oh, pair 45. Eh, it's not that bad. I could make a couple bucks off of them, but it's a little 
too much for me to have invested in it today. Especially because I just had the most epic one you could ever imagine. It was red, but it was cased uranium. And the whole thing uh, on, on the outside, it would glow yellow. But on the inside, it would glow neon green. Like, it lit the whole thing up. It was insane. I'd never seen one before. This is quite pretty. Silvestri. It's like a perfume, though, and it's missing its stopper. You can tell it feels ground. Hey, hey, hey. Look at that 125 firm. Dang, I was going to say. It's a really good one. Blinko. That's an old one, too. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that was a Wayne Husted. This is different. Oh, I've had something by this maker before. That is so funky. <laughs> Looks like the 80s. Now, what I like most about this McCoy Smiley Bank is <laughs> it reminds me of Mr. Bill. <laughs> oh, no. Here's a little nook here. Definitely notice this guy. $32.99 lizard paperweight. That's fun. And this one also sticks out. I think that's going to be perhaps an import. A lot of these are very unusual. I do like the lizard, but I think it's a little much to pay for resale. It's not the uh, St. Clair. It looks like the St. Clair from afar, but the bottom's not right. It would be like uh, pinched in with a stamp at the pontal. There's something I've not seen before. The Wilkerson green glass cat. Wait, glows. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, it's uranium. I'm curious about that one. Well, I'm just futzing around in this booth, uh, waiting for the key for the Royal Dews. And I saw this. How did I miss this? That is a fantastic planter. Occupied Japan. The swan, the, the, the queen riding the swan. That's a really good one. $12 on that. I think I'm, I've only ever seen it once and uh, it's sold for pretty good money. And it's super special. So that's coming home with me as well. And look at this planter. Hi, how are you? Well, I found some really nice. What did you? You were gonna buy that? <laughs> oh man, um, I found some really nice things. I'm off to a good start, and uh, there's a nice little pocket of antique malls here that are gonna be all fresh to me. So I'm gonna keep in, keep on going, and I'll see you guys at the next stop.